Cheered in food and drink, fairy to status and wealth. And meat was a sign of wealth, but as the population rose in Tudor England, so did the improved agricultural techniques and inventions. The average Tudor family diet was made up of vegetables and pulses, which would be bought which would be boiled as stews, whilst on the other hand, the Tudor dining at court would expect to find a wide range of fresh foodstuffs, and that would be served up as a meal. The dishes that would be served would include roasted beef or mutton and stews of pork and chicken, which would be supplied in plenty. The most choice and rarest would be for the king. The Tudor era even saw introduction to different food from the New World. While, while continuing to be influenced by food imported from the Far East, it saw the expanded use of sugar and increased cultivation of fruit and beehives in England. It was important that the Tudor food was prepared for nobility and royalty, especially banquets and feasts had a visual effect. Exotic birds such as peacocks were reared for consumption and even the feathers were used to decorate the foods. A large amount of Tudor cooking was conducted over an open flame or fire and to prepare the food, um, the utensils that were used were ladles, scissors, meat forks and big knives and several cooking methods such as spit roasting, frying, boiling, salting, smoking and roasting. Whilst the Tudor diet was lavish, it was not healthy at all and vegetables were considered a poor man's food. Raw fruits were hardly eaten, but when they were, they were boiled because they were believed at the time to cause illnesses and diseases and they were outlawed in 1569. Enhancing the unhealthiness of the Tudor diet was of fat and sweets. Raw desserts that were prepared were highly sweetened with sugar and therefore the upper classes frequently battled, battled, battled with tooth decay due to their sugar consumption. Water was hardly ever drank because it wasn't clean and the Tudors drank both wine and ale, whilst the poor only drank ale. Honey was used as a sweet alcoholic drink called mead and this was drunk by all Tudor classes. They generally purchased their ingredients from small markets and market fairs and specific farms where there would be an appointed cart who would come to an arranged and fixed price. <laughs>